morning everybody. Day three and it'll be our first day touring from our base camp, the caravan. As you can see we're surrounded by caravans. Yeah so today we're going to do the uh, Whiskey Galore trail. It's uh, one out of uh, Simon Ware's Bikers Britain's book. I think it's 189 miles. Um, I'll show you the map in a minute. But uh, yeah looking forward to it. Nice weather again. We've just had great weather so far. We're so so lucky. But uh, just wipe the uh, bike down. Had a bit of rain in the night, but it can rain all it wants in the night. We're not bothered, as long as the days stay dry. So yeah, I'll show you the map now and then we'll be on our way. In a bit. Yeah, so this is the tour that we're doing today. Like I say, it's a Whiskey Galore tour. It's out of Simon Weir's Bikers Britain book. Um, if another page number, I'll put it up for you. But um, yeah, starting off here and then. We've actually got to get onto the route, so down to this part here. First part is just getting access to the Whiskey Galore tour. But then from there, we're going to be uh, going around this route. I will try and say what roads we're on and that, but uh, I'm also going to put the GPX file uh, in the description. So you can, anybody who wants to have this one, if they're anywhere in there and abouts, they can uh, download it and use it. Right, let's get riding. Seventeen thousand miles. You know what, Moz? Sixteen nine nine six. I'll be going on to seventeen thousand miles. Yep, uh, trip planner. Doom, dunk, dunk. Few trips in here now. Whiskey galore. Go. Bit of grass tracking. Yeah, it's a nice caravan park, this. As they all are, we've not had a bad one yet. Straight out into the country. <laughs> Can't fault it. Weather today, it's given uh, dark clouds and uh, some scattered showers. We'll see how we go. And the temperature is 17.5 degrees at the minute. Still fully messed up, it's still dead warm. We've just said if we just get a sprinkle in the showers, we won't bother putting water through, so we'll just ride through that. So if it gets persistent and starts getting heavy, we'll stop and put the, uh, the old wet gear on. But yeah, this is um, nice, even at the beginning of it, because we will be venturing slightly into the Cairngorms for a few miles on this tour. Hopefully passing a few distilleries, and hopefully getting some... Um, Nice scenery for you guys to see as you ride with us. Had a lot, a lot, a lot better sleep last night. As in, of course, I had my own bedroom. As we all have. Living luxury in an eight berth caravan, just the three of us. Bags of space. And we're starting off on a superb road. This is the A939 winding its way down to the Whiskey Galore tour. Tell you what, this is wonderful this. Going over a nice little river there. You know that when you ride a Bikers Britain, one of the Simon Weir's routes, that you're going to get a good route. I don't think I've rode a bad one yet, and I've done a fair few of them now. He certainly does know his roads, that fellow, without a doubt. This is wonderful where to start this. Bendy, 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 bendy through all this woodlands. It's just a biker's dream. Furness, just coming through. Still on the A939. It's always nice that now that we're in the caravan, you just can't be having a home base where you get all your kit out, unloaded, all your stuff spread all over the place like. Well, look at this. This is the Harley Boys, by the looks of it. Great gang on them. Look at that over there. This is why I love Scotland. It's just massive, massive, phenomenal amounts of just woodland and greenery. I keep saying it, but it's damn good for the soul. I always have a massive smile on my face up this place. It's getting a bit cooler. It's dropped down to 15.5 degrees now. Look at what we're surrounded by though. There's just nothing. No houses, no shops, no civilization. We're shortly going to be turning on to the A940. Yeah, 
we are left onto A940. This is the actual beginning of uh, the whiskey galore. Welcome to Moray, M O R A Y, Malt Whiskey Country. Hence the name, Whiskey Galore. Well, I just haven't felt the need to turn the cameras off just yet because uh, I normally turn it off when we're going through somewhere that's not right good like or a bit boring, but so far, this has been just fantastic riding. Climbing higher and higher, the temperature's falling, down to 14 degrees now. Just feel it a little bit through my mess jacket, but I like it, I like being cool. As in temperature, not bragging that I'm cool. Look at the view down there now. <laughs> when I plan all these trips and um, put the roots in the sat nav and go on Google Earth and do it, I, I put a few hours in before we go on any trip. But I, I do thoroughly enjoy it, and then this is reaping the benefits. Really is. I kind of always know ish what to expect, but there's nothing like being actually sat on your bike riding it. It's just phenomenal. And like I say, this one, I mean, if it's as good as this for most of the way around, or even half of the way around, wowza. And I will put the um, GPX file in the description from a, a Dropbox that you can download. Ooh, this is a bit uh, curvy around here. My bl bloody van was on my side of the road then. most expensive part of this tour, of course, is going to be the fuel. At the minute, the range we've had is from £1.91, being the cheapest per litre, up to £2.06. It's just crazy, happy people, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. are going to have enjoyed them first uh, 27 miles without a doubt oh look at those beautiful houses yeah B9011 so this is Fars once again a lovely little place Bloody bin men! <laughs> <laughs> You're all the same! Yeah. Selfish! <laughs> no! That's been brilliant so far, hasn't it? <laughs> Fantastic roads! <laughs> Through fours and then it looks like back into the countryside. Some black clouds ahead. Just be black clouds. Don't be wet ones. Roads getting smaller. It's not what you'd call single uh, carriageway, but uh, it is reduced. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, recommend doing this one at 60, really. It's uh, a lot of overgrown trees making the uh, width of the road even smaller for cars and the like a little bit smaller I've got passing places now little town ahead yeah I would class this now as single carriageway there's a relic of some kind there look an old stone thing wonder what that was at one time of day Answers on a postcard below if anybody knows. I don't know why, but the sat nav seems to be really dark to my left. I don't know whether that's showing really thick 
Treeland or Woodlands or whatever. I've never seen that on my sat nav before. Really thick black, I don't know whether you can see it. Joining the A96 now to Aberdeen. Not bad anywhere, Moz. 187, not bad anywhere. That's good, that. 187, what are we saying? Jesus. We're all, we all just pay it now, don't we? Don't even think about it. It's mental. 130, a couple of months ago, whenever. Might struggle to get back out of here, so I'll get out if I can and I'll wait for you up there somewhere if you are to wait. Yeah, sure. Sure, let go back by the van, That's a good idea, Dick. Why don't you lead? <laughs> Refueled, I was about, a th I don't know, a third of a tank and it's just cost £27 to to top it up, Jesus. I used to be able to fill it for that, 27 quid. I went the other day and it was, um, how much did it cost? It was nearly empty and it was £42.50. I mean, come on. For a motorcycle. It's just mental. That was Elgin that we've just been through, E-L-G-I-N, Elgin, just on our way to Cullen now. We've just rejoined us, happy people, we've uh, got through Elgin and the A96 bit, was, which was a bit boring actually, it was just like uh, roundabout after roundabout on a main road. But we've just hung a left and we're just going on to the, uh, we're on, we are now riding the A98, we're on our way to Cullen. On our left now. It's one of these distilleries, it's called the Whiskey Galato Inch Gower Distillery. And I've looked into that one and Inch Gower is a Bell's distillery, Bell's Whiskey. Oh, there you go, gives it away, doesn't it? Massive letters, Bell's, Inch Gower Distillery. Oh, just come over this hill, the A98, heading towards Cullen, and uh, look at that for a view, beautiful. Straight down onto the rocky course line. Big viaduct or bridges here. There we are, arriving in Cullen. Down his arm, popping his head over the top there. You see, playing display anywhere. Do you know if you have to pay for the car park? Do you know if you have to pay for the car park? Uh, no, 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 no. Is it free? It's free, and there's a toilet up here if you need a toilet or not. As far as I know, it's free. Brilliant. Right. Okay, you now. Thank you. Now, that gentleman says, uh, as far as I know, it's free. Oh. I can't see out saying. Oh, it's fair. Looks a nice little place, isn't it? Yeah, really. I've got friends in Fraserburgh. Acquaintances, you mean? From the because he says that because we aren't going there. <laughs> yeah, so he doesn't have to prove it. <laughs> right, let's have a little look at what we got here then, people. This is Cullen. Cracky little place. Mm -hmm. Two vandals just vandalising a little 
bag station. Lunch time. We have our lunch place. Just blend us fish and chips. And we'll go through there and sit down and have a look at the beach. We'll get some chippies. Is chips and peas for me. Deck steak pie, Aussie little chips and peas. Happy days. Onwards and upwards. Cracking little stop that. I'd, I reckon, I'd recommend that to anybody. Cullen. And it is free car parking in the square. For any of you thinking of coming. Yeah, we stay on this uh, A98 for a fair bit until we reach, well, we've got another from Banff. We're we'll on 68, 82, 14 miles from Cullen, turn on to the A97. Welcome to Aberdeenshire. Just come in too now. Now if you're on a little bit of Cullen, I'll uh, turn you off for now and I'll return. Just arriving at Port Soy. P O R T S O Y. Another, dare I say it, quaint little place. Oh, lovely little houses and cottages. Smashing. We're just coming into Banff. B A N F. Do you know this is a quaint little place? <laughs> Banff. Smashing. So we're now on the A97. We've now completed 85 of the 189 miles. Look at that for scenery. This is a fantastic stretch of road, the A97 to Huntley. And surrounded by great scenery. Abaturda. It's just spitting a little bit. Just going to join the A96 to Inverness now. Ninety-seven to Rinne. We've just turned on to the A941 towards Elgin, I think it said. Heading back upwards now. Still looking a bit black and we just rode through some uh, very, very low cloud. I thought it was absolutely chucking it down, but it wasn't. It was low cloud when we got there, so ain't so bad. Yeah, the A941 is um, smaller than normal, but not quite single carriageway. Challenging all the less, nonetheless, for uh, its bends and uh, not being able to see much in front of you. Old bridge here going over a little stream. Look at the low cloud over there, nearly on the ground. 
We're just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Where are we heading for? We are heading for Duff Town. On the A941. We've actually got the road to ourselves though, we just haven't seen any vehicles, we're just riding along and... Happy days. Yeah, I think there's only us three here. Nobody else. Please don't say road closed. How to go now? No, we'll have to go miles back. Why didn't they tell you that yonks back? Bridge is missing. <laughs> bridge is missing. No, the bridge is gone. Is it? Yeah, you get ruined this route. You just pull this road, it takes you just to the other side of the bridge. Back onto this road? Right, yeah, back yeah, onto this road. Just goes round in a loop. Yeah. Just goes round in a loop. Yeah. A couple of miles. Yeah. You see where the car's sitting up there, look. That house? Aye, see the house there, we yeah. drift past it and it just takes you to the other side of the bridge. So we can still get to Duff Town, that's where uh, we're heading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gets you back onto this road. Right. But we are broken, dude. <laughs> You've broke down? Yeah. Oh my God, it's all happening. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we'll give that a go then. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> bridge is broke. The bridge? The bridge is caved in, so you can't get over the bridge. But he says, if you go down here, I don't know what my sat nav will be. We can get on. <laughs> get the old revs up. Da, 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 straight over. No, he says, if you go down here, he says, it's about a two mile loop right round, but he says, it gets you back on this road. Yeah. And his lorry's broke down. Oh. <laughs> right. I don't know whether I'm still filming them. I am, so you've seen ahead that, folks, that a bridge has collapsed. So now my sat nav will be uh, having a bit of an issue fit. And God knows what this road will be like. He says you just do a loop and you're back onto that road. Oh, this looks a bit bloody gravel here. Didn't like that. Right, we're on 118 miles, so 120-ish, we should be back on that road somehow. Satnav actually has jumped into action and said carry on up here, 1.2 miles. So, oh, look at this church here, graveyard. Might have done us a favour, it might be a little bit, well, it is an adventure, isn't it? Little bridge here, look, over a river. I think that's the, I've got it, River Deveron. We're going to meet it a bit later on. Well, you can see the road going up and around up here. It's an adventure. There's gravel and bloody branches and all sorts on the road. you just got to go, can you? Oh, now we've got a bit of a hairpin back on the sends here. Good. <laughs> Dog don't like us. <laughs> it's off the <to> deck. <laughs> oh, detour, wild dogs attacking us. It is a rate adventure. Gorgeous view from up here anyway though. I don't know how well you can see it because it's not that sort of bright and sunny. It's a bit uh, dull and cloudy but uh, Real nice. And I wonder if that's the collapsed bridge down there. I can just see a bridge down there that's collapsed. I don't know whether you heard Muzzy, but he says, yes, we'd get over it. Evil can evil. Take a good run up. I don't think the old RT1200 uh, would uh, jump over. That's it, then we're back on the uh, road we should be on. 
Yeah, and that the river on the left right of us now is the Deveron, River Deveron. Running alongside the A941. Still on the whiskey trail, the malt whiskey trail. Here we are in Dufftown. Now I think there's a big clock tower in uh, Dufftown. We turn right on. There we are. What a beautiful clock tower. I'll tell you what, this is a quaint little place. <laughs> Beautiful. And up here is Glenfiddich Distillery. There's a castle there that I just wanted to try and sneak and get a picky of somehow, but you just got to walk up that path there. There you go. But you can't sneak through that. Or can you? All right, Deck. Yeah, get in. I ain't stopped any for any reason, just have a break, really. Give it away. You what? Too much air in that. Well, by far. Yeah. Did it feel like you shit yourself? I was all over. Yeah, like you was sat on a waterbed. Yeah. Nice little detour, actually, wasn't it? We're not keeping you up, are we? <laughs> I'm still thinking about what was said. The leftover chips, I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bike's got mucky. I oh, know. That was a nice detail though, wasn't it? That was the one up at the top. It was, wasn't it? Alright, yeah. Yeah. Just walking up this hill. I've already looked on good breath. If I just walk around here, I'll just get a photograph of this castle. Which is just here. Just get a quick snap of that. Happy days. Not open today, but you know, the only extra bit you'd get, I suppose, if you're prepared to go in, would be inside it. And get the gist of it from out here, don't you? Beautiful. Glenfiddich Distillery, went and looked round there, but... There's another distillery there. They are all over the place. There's no wonder the Scottish know how to drink. Oh, it's there, look. That one is... Balvini Distillery. Now oh, that's the name of that castle, Balvini Castle. Now that's Balvini Distillery we've just gone past. Well, that was a mountain when I looked on Google Earth. It was massive! It was massive when I looked on Google Earth. Great mountain of bar barrels, it's only a few, isn't it? Yeah, they're all in little, like, well, there's a lot in it, there's a lot, but probably all. Just in small pyramids, aren't there? Yeah, can you go that way? Are we going that way, anyway? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we would have just carried on up that road to a point and then come back. We're just cutting across it now with this one. So I won't bother, I don't think. It's not special, is it? Not yeah, it was a lot better than that. I suppose they get moved about and used up and refilled and sent out, so never mind. It was just a photo opportunity I thought I would have. I'm back on the A95 now. A 
We're only here now for 20 mile. But we'll be entering into the Cairngorms in about 13 miles. So, while we're on this for a bit, I'll just uh, turn you off for a little while. In a bit. Another distillery on our left here, the Tormor Distillery. Look at that beauty. The Tormor Distillery, beautiful. That looks something, doesn't it? We are officially entering the Cairngorms National Park. Said that. That is a view, isn't it? Definitely, definitely the Cairngorms, that is a fact. Turning right onto the A938. Welcome to Dolmain Bridge. Now on the B9007 to Furness and it's going straight through the Cairngorms. Nansha. Must be getting close to home. A lovely way to finish though, coming through the Cairngorms like this. Can he fault it? Well, there's only 13 miles left of the uh, Whiskey Galore trip that we've done today. And it has been magnificent. It's had a bit of everything, to be truthful. Bit of the Cairngorms. Kirby roads. Single tracks. Inclines, hills. Nice little towns. Riding along the sea edge. been very, very, very enjoyable. On the A939, heading home. We're putting music to this bit, boy. Let's go. Fantastic piece of road that has been. Superb. Bend up the bend up the bend up the bend up the bend. The A939. From Furness to uh, Nen. Highly, highly recommended. Lots and lots of fun. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> well, that's it, happy people. Whiskey Galore complete. Fantastic route, highly recommended, and I'll leave you the uh, GPX file in the uh, comments.